Right. Well, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we've got the pigs back from the abattoir and a lot of people have requested an updated butchering video. So what better time to do it than now? So what I'm going to do is run you through what we do here on the small order and that suits our family. There's a lot of butchering videos out there that do it a lot of different ways. I'm just going to show you what we do. Hopefully some of you will get something out of it. I'll try and make it as easy as possible. It's not that difficult. And at the end of it, we should have a plenty of different lovely cuts to go in the freezers. We took two pigs to the abattoir. There were Gloucestershire old spots for those who missed it. So what I've got here is half of one of the pigs. This was the, small, the smallest one of the two. It was 89 kilos carcass weight. The biggest one weighed out at 95. So I'm just going to show you how to break it down into three sections and then we'll do each section at a time. As you can see, the shoulder's already cut from the, the trunk because that's basically just how to get it in the car to get it home. So all I've done to cut the shoulder off is just counted four bones up, cut through, saw through the backbone and then just take that off. We'll put that at one side and we'll get onto that after we've done this bit. Right, all I'm going to do now is split this into two, then into three, so we've got the individual cuts to work off. Right, so we're just going to start to remove the leg from the middle. So all you do, where the tailbone comes down here, that's one joint, two joints. So you just cut into that joint through the belly. Grab your saw, just cut through the backbone. And then continue through with the knife. And that just separates the leg from the belly. Now we're just going to take the flare fat out of the middle. So just cut that little bit of meat up there. That will just go into sausage. And then put a little nick in there so you can get your fingers in. Get your fingers under the fat, just ease it out. And then just pull the whole thing out like that. Now what we're going to do is separate the loin from the belly. So all you need to get is your saw and pick just about two inches from the end there and just saw straight through these bones here. You don't need to go any further than that. So just run your saw through there till it stops just through the bones, not through the meat and get your knife and then just run that down there, which takes your line off from your belly. So this is just a whole belly bone in. So all I'm going to do is trim it through the end. That's just a bit of like gristle. So we're going to just trim a little bit off the end there and then a bit off the bottom. We're going to trim that up. All that trim will go into sausage. And then we're going to take these rib bones out. So what you do is you just run your knife down the bit of meat at the bottom of the rib there to uncover the seam, the bottom of the ribs, you'll see them there. And get your knife under the ribs just keeping your knife pressed up over like that so it's pressing on the ribs not down over so it's on the meat and then you just keep gently easing them, under, easing them underneath and then you just go around the bones to the bottom take your rib bones out and then you don't want this bit of gristle on the end of your rib bones so you just cut that off that'll just go into stock and there's your a rack of ribs and then you're left with the belly so all we do here this is which what works for us I just roll it over like that and then I just trim that end square just for more sausage now what we've done with the other ones we've cut them two into slices which are like that and we get about 10 or 11 slices out and one of the others is into joints. This one's also going to go into joints. So all I'm going to do is turn it over, get yourself a Stanley knife or if your knife's sharp enough, and just score down the, the rind. Turn it round, score that way. Don't go too deep so you're hitting the block. All you want to be going through is the rind, not the meat. So it's like that. So it's all scored like that. Then all we're going to do with this one, we just want this one in the joints. So how many joints do we want out of it? Two or three. So we'll do three joints. So you just basically just third it. So one there, 
one there, and that's three. Nice belly bark joints onto the loin. Right, so with our loins, three of them are going into bacon, and because they've got a nice covering of fat on, I'll be able to take the skin off so we have brandless bacon and we'll keep the skin, nothing will go to waste, I'll score the skin and we'll keep that for crackling. So you need, ideally you'll want that much fat on to get the skin off, any less than that, and it becomes a bit of a, a nightmare to skin off. But that's enough fat, we want to skin it off before we take the bones out. So all we do there is just get the knife into the top there, you only have to start slow and just keep the knife just at the same distance from the meat to the fat. You don't want to be cutting into the meat and you don't want to be cutting into the, the rind. You want to keep a, a nice bit of fat on the rind so that it makes nice crackling and also a nice bit of fat on the chops or on the bacon. This one is going into chops because we've got the three for the bacon. So we're just going to derind this. There's the rind off. We'll get back to that in a second. Now onto the loin. Right, so with the tip of your knife, you just want to start here at the last bone and just keep your knife close to the ribs while pulling the, the meat back. You just keep going in and down, just using the tip of your knife, pushing towards the, the ribs at the same time. Try not to put your knife into the meat. And then when you come to the bottom of the ribs, there'll be like a little bump that you need to get over. So that's the ribs cleared. Then we just go to the little ribs at this end. You can uncover them if you want with the knife. Again, just using the tip, try not to go into the meat. over that little bump at the bottom to join what you've already done. And you just turn it over. This side of the spine is straight through like that. And the bone will just come away from the meat. Now all I do with the loin, because I'm a bit of a stickler for keeping everything the same, I'm just gonna cut a slither off there just so it makes it all the same length all the way up. That will just go into sausage and just turn it over. If there's any too much fat on the back, just trim down there. And then we're ready to cut that into chops. Our other three halves went into bacon, so we're going to use this one for chops. So all we're going to do is make a nice thickness of chops, however thick you like. I mean, they're just perfect fat to meat ratio on them. Now we've got the chops done, we're just going to tidy up the trim. So we've got already got our four rib bones. So this one, we're just going to take the meat out of the middle of it for to go into the sausage. And then the bone will go into stock. Now, onto the trim off the belly to go into sausage. So we're just taking the, the rind off. Take that little end bone out. And then all you do there is you just put your knife in, and just run it across the skin. Knife in there, run it across the skin. 
and the same with the end bit. And again, and we just put that up so it goes through the mincer. So all our trim is just basically what I'll go in to make the sausage. So I'll just keep it in a pile and then we'll just bag it all up at the end. All the little scraggly bits of skin and fat and like bone ends will just go in the bin and the bones will go into stock. Back to the rind of the, the loin that we've just boned out. Like I say, nothing goes to waste. So all I'm going to do is score this and then cut it into four bits. And then when we get a pork joint out, we'll cook some of the rind for crackling because we all like extra crackling with the pork and there's never enough to go around. So back to your Stanley knife, make sure it's nice and sharp. You don't have to press too hard. You don't want to be cutting through the end bits or it'll just be all over the place and all flappy. You just want to be going down the middle so that it is something like that. So when you cook it, you can just break it apart or put your knife through it. So all I'm going to do is just cut that into four bits. And we'll just bag that up separate. And we'll just pull one out when we want some extra crap on it. Right, that's the loin and the belly sorted. Now let's get on with the leg. Here we've got a full leg. A lot of people take the legs off from here and make chump chops or leg steaks, but I want five joints out of this leg, like I say, to maximize the amount of meat we're getting. So we have a lot of joints here for dinners and roasts. So that's what we're going to do. I want to get five joints out of this leg. Right, so first just trim any rough bits off it. Right, first we're going to take off this belly end here. Just going to run the knife down through the meat to the fat. Again, that'll go into sausage. Then just trim that bit of rough skin off and fat, just to tidy the leg up a bit. Then we'll take the trotter off. So all we're going to do here is make a cut behind that lump. So we'll just cut through that lump there and it takes you to through that little bit of meat to the bone and just get the saw and then just cut through that bone like that and there's your trotter off right so first we're going to take the tailbone out then the eyes will bone then the shank off and then we'll reassess so turn the tailbone towards you just gently run your knife down there, go under and you should feel uh, a seam. You put your knife in there, just wiggle it about a bit and you want to get that in there till it goes through. Then just pop the seam, the tailbone will lift up and then you just run the tip of your knife down the side of the tailbone. That little bit of meat over there for sausage, that go in the stock and that's your tailbone out. Next up, we're going to take this eyesal bone out. This is the hip bone, so it's a funny shaped bone. So we're just going to take the meat out from it there first, just to uncover the bone. That will go into sausage. Then all I'm going to do, you can see where the bone starts under there and it goes around there and then you're going to be coming around that and then under there. But all you want to be really using is the tip of your knife. You don't want to be using any further down than that and slashing all the meat. If you do, it doesn't really matter, we're going to string it up anyway, but so we just start from there, go around the eyesal bone, and then you want to crack the joint here because it's got its femur bone there. So you just want to crack that joint, which is there, then get your knife in, just go around with the tip of your knife, just feeling for the bone with the tip of your knife, and just be as close to the bone as you can. Get your bone out, just trim any bit of meat off the sausage and then that will go into stock when you've got that out just take any bits of thick fat off I just like to tidy up the skin on the edges you'll see why when we come to string it up and then that's all your bones out of that end now we're going to turn it around and take the shank off Right, so there's two bones in the shank. There's this big one here that you can see, and then there's another one once you get inside that you can't see. 
So what you want to do is put your knife on that bone, just come up, you'll come round a bit and there'll be a joint. You've got to cut through that joint, which will open it up. Then just put the tip of your knife in, run it down the side of the bone. And then that's the big bone out. Then your little bone, if you can see in there, the tip of the, the little bone you want to take out, it runs down there and that's where it ends. It's just get your knife in like that, just run down the bone, it's like a little pin bone, and then just ease that out. Then all we do is just cut straight across here to take the shank off. And then all we're going to do with that is just take the meat from the skin. So there's no real way of doing this. Just cut and pull, get the meat off, and then just hold the skin or close to the skin. And then just put that up so it goes through the mincer. So I've got the skin left on there, just take that off. And there's more meat for sausage. Now we're ready to turn this into joints. Like I said, all we want off the legs is as many joints as we can this year. So we'll get five decent sized joints out of this. So all we're gonna do first is your femur bone starts there and ends there. So all you wanna do is put your knife in where the femur bone starts. Make sure your knife's touching the femur bone, come through so you can see the bone and just go gently down and you'll uncover a seam. So then all you want to do is ease that off at the seam. So you're not cutting through the meat on that side or on this side. And then you just go straight down, cut that off. And then all we're going to do with this piece is when we come to do it, I'm going to just score that little bit of skin that's on there. That's why we kept the rind, if you remember. So because this piece here will be a lovely lean joint, but it doesn't have a lot of rind on, so all we'll do is cook some rind on it, and then you'll have some lovely crackling with it. So I'll get around to skinning that up at the end, and I'll show you how to uh, uh, string it up, sorry. I'll get around to stringing that up at the end, and I'll string it all together and show you how we do that. Right, so then get back onto your bit of leg that's left. So you want to turn it round towards you so that the bone's on the other side, and then come down this side of the bone. Just, just keeping as close to the bone as you can. Just going round, there's a little cap there that you want to go through with your knife. And then just come round the whole bone. Like I say, staying as close to the bone as you can. And then there's the cap there, you want to take that out. You can either take it out with the bone or after you've took the bone out. And there's your, uh, your femur bone out that will go into stock. And now we're left with that. Now all we're going to do is we want to keep this much of the, the leg at this side. We're not so bothered about this side, this is the thick flank part of it. We're not much bothered about that because that's going into mince. So all I'm going to do is I want it the same size that end as I do at this end. So all I'm going to do is just cut roughly that in half and then just take it away from the skin and then I'm just going to square that up a little bit then all we're doing now with this bit is just tidying up any bone fragments that are left in it get this thick bit of fat out here but there's nothing really much to do to this now get a big bit of fat out and then all we do is turn it over and we'll get it's ready for stringing. Right, now it's come time to string it up. This uh, piece of pork wants scoring, but before I score it, I always put one string around the middle to keep it all straight. Because if you score it and then you start stringing, sometimes your string slips into the scores and it ends up your joints all over the place. So I just put one string in the middle and get it to the nice shape that we want it. Put that nice and tight. Tie the knot off. And then when you've got your basic shape like that, we can just score down the sides. Turn it 
round and score the other sides. Turn it back to where you started. So all we're going to do is, with the string, like we want four joints out of this piece of meat. So you want to keep the strings pretty close together, maybe it's an inch apart, and then it gives you plenty of room when you cut it to keep it all held together with the strings. So all I do is string it up and keep the knots roughly in line so it looks nice and neat. If you want to know how to do an easy butcher's knot, so you just get your string, push it under your joint where you want to string it and come over. So you've got two bits of string, the end piece in this hand, the one that's on the bobbin in this hand. So when you get your finger, you come over the top with your finger, go over, make a loop, go under, make a knot. Do exactly the same again, go under, make a knot, then just get that on your meat where you want it, pull it tight, the knots will tighten on themselves like that, and then you just tie it off at the end and cut it flush. Right, so now you've got your strung up full leg of pork. Now, like I say, I'm a bit finickety about mine, so all I'm gonna do is square the ends off, and then that piece will go into mince, and then put your square up at the other end, but that'll also go into mince. So now we want four joints out of this, so you can either go exactly half and then half it again, or just judge it by eye. So I'll just judge it by eye. So we'll go, one, two, four lovely pork joints ready for any Sunday roast. Right, this is the top side that I took off earlier that I said about not having much skin on. So I'm just going to score what skin is on it, just give it a rough score. And then all I'm going to do with this one is just string it up the best you can. So we start quite a way in from that end because we're going to square that end up. Because this is just a solid piece of meat in here. So it'll be super lean and super tasty. So we're just going to put three strings on it. So it's just your three skin, uh, strings on it, and all I'm gonna do is just square this end up. Say, you don't need to do this, but like I also say, we're doing the best to maximize all our meat we're gonna get off it. So all this trim that I'm taking off is all gonna go into either mince or sausage. So there you've got your five lovely pork joints off your leg. Now the last bit of the leg, is just this bit of uh, thick flank that I took off. Now most of this is gonna go into mince. So all I'm gonna do is just trim the, the fat, fattiest bits and meatiest bits off. So the fattiest bits, which is leave some meat on them because it's gonna go into sausage, and just trim around, get thick bits of fat off. Doesn't matter if you have a little bit of fat in the mince, but then that piece there, I'll just get cut up into joints big enough to go into the mincer. So that will go with the rest of the mince, that will go with the rest of the sausage. Now let's get on to the shoulder. Now we're getting on to the shoulder of pork. Half of this we're going to use for joints and the other half is purely for sausage and mince. So first of all we'll get on to taking the shank off. This whole side, what they call the hand of side of pork, is all going to uh, sausage. So you don't need to worry about being super careful or super clean, but this is just how you go about boning it out. So we'll start with taking this big bit of meat out here off the shank. So you just put your tip of your knife until you find the bone, then you just pull the meat apart with your hand and just go up the bone and take that piece of meat off there. And all we do with that is we'll take the skin off and that will go into sausage. Then you want the other side of the shank so you just twist it round. That bone's not that thick, you can feel it there. So you just go into that there, straight through, and then underneath it, like that, 
just loosens the bone. Then all you want to do is come up here and there'll be a joint. You just put your knife across that joint and it'll just come straight apart. Then you just go around that joint with your knife and that bone will just come straight out with the shank on, the trotter on, sorry. Then this piece of meat, flappy bit of meat here, we just cut that off and then we'll take the skin off that and that will go into sausage. Then we turn it back round. Right, so we've turned it round and we're going to take the rib bones out. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast. Trace keeps telling me to slow down. But I used to be a piecework boner and this is the only way I know how to work. So we'll get to the ribs. So all you want to do is come up the ribs here and there's, you see where it goes into meat? That'll be a like a line of gristle. So you just run your knife through that line of gristle and take that gristly bit out. Then turn it back round so you can get under the ribs. You just push down on that bit there and then you can just get your tip of your knife under there and just loosen the ribs off coming down the the backbone and just making sure that you're keeping your tip of your knife close to the ribs so that you're not slashing the meat just go under there taking that neck bone out down to the spine bone and then just down to the spine bone and out. So now you've got them bones out where it's been sawn in half and it's been uh, open to like the oxygen that it dries out a bit. So all I do is just cut that bit of dry meat off and that'll be all right going into sausage. Just keep it nice and thin though, I don't need to take much too much off again this bit here where it's all bloody and like the glands and everything are you're just going to take that bit off that's just for waste so we just take that off there get all that gland out and that's just for waste so also you don't want this big lump of fat on here so all i do with that bit is just run my knife down flat and then just cut that lump of fat off like that now we've got this far, this is the rack side, or the pork butt, as they call it in America, and this is the hand side. We want the rack side cut into three joints. So to get that out, you'll see when you cut it open, there'll be like a lump of white fat there. That's where your joint is for your blade bone. So all you need to do is get your knife in there until you find the joint, which is there. You can see that. And then you just want to break through the joint, not going too far, just fine enough so you can, you've broke through the joint. Then you want to come down the side of the blade bone, like again, not going too deep, just enough to uncover the blade bone. Then you need to run your knife across the top of the blade bone, staying as close to the blade bone as you can, just using the tip of your knife, not going too far. So the blade bone ends there, so you don't want to go too far. And then it, it ends there, so you don't want to go past that and just run down a bit there. Then what you need to do, you just need to get your knife up down the back and underneath and just cut it like that till it stops. So you can get your fingers behind it. Then all you need to do with that, put two fingers behind it, hold that end Ouch. and like that. That one's tough, right. So that'll release most of the bone. So then all you need to do is just go around it and it'll just pop out like that. And you just finish it off with your knife and keep it as clean as possible. And then that's pretty clean, just trim the off the end there for the sausage. And there's your blade bone out. So now we've got the, the blade bone out. So all I'm gonna do now is just roughly tidy this up a bit. That'll just go in there, sausage. And now we're gonna cut the, the rack side off. So keeping it nice and square, just get your knife, cut straight through, put that to one side for now, and then there you've got your rack side of pork. So we're just going to score that with your Stanley knife or your knife, give that a good score. Right, now we'll go 
string this up. So we're going to cut this one into three joints. So we're going to start from the middle because you'll be cutting, you'll be having a joint out the middle and one at either side. So if you start directly in the middle and then work your way that way, then that way or whichever way you want to go, just make sure you get it nice and tight so that when you cut it, it's not going to fall apart. Right, now we've got it all strung up. Like as you guessed it, I'm going to square up the ends. This is the the loin end and on the other end is the neck end. So important when you get to the other end, as you can see, it's a lot more scraggy. When you cut it, there should be a gland in there that you don't want in there. So when you cut it, you see that gland? You don't want that gland in there. So you just get your knife tip, and just nick that out. That's for the bin. And again, the other half of it is in that end. So all we'll do with that bit now is just trim that skin off and that will go into sausage. And then we're left with our joint to cut into three. So we're gonna get one, two, three, beautiful shoulder joints. Personally, this is my favorite joint off the pig. So these will go down a treat. Yeah. So then all we do with the hand side, just move them off the way. Like I say, all this is just going into sausage. You can, if you want more joints, you can take this bone out by tunnel boning it out. So you get your knife in and you just ease it around the bone from both sides and then it'll come out. Because we're just going into sausage, I'm gonna leave that bone in for now. Just take the skin off first while the bone's in because it's easier, well, I find it easier. Skin off one half, and then skin off the other half. And then all we do is just turn it over, and however you like. Just take that bone out. You can see the bone at that end and that end. So you just get your knife in, follow the, the bone round. And just take that bone out. And that will just go into your stock pot. And then if there's any bits of gristle left on it, just take that out and then you're left with that. So all we're gonna do now is just take the thick, fattier stuff off for sausage, and the leaner stuff in the middle will keep a bit for mince. You just go around, don't have to be neat or tidy, but like that, that sort of is fine for mince. That's it for that, time to get tidied up, and we'll show you what we ended up with. So there you go. This is just some of what we got off the two pigs. You guys tonight see me do half a pigs. So this is what it looks like times by four. So I'll just give you a run through of what we get. So we got three shoulder joints tonight and then another nine off the other three. So that's 12 shoulder joints in total. We got five leg joints tonight plus another 15 off the other three. So there's 20 joints off the legs, so that's 32 joints 
total off the four pigs. Then moving on to the loins, we got the 24 chops or 22 chops, can't remember how many we did now, but we've also got the three loins worth of bacon to come back. So we've worked it out, it'll be about 50 packets of bacon to go with that. Onto the bellies, we've done the three joints tonight, the four that I'd done earlier, and then these are the slices that I was on about. We just put two in a pack and I think there's 11 packs of two slices of them. Then we got the four pork fillets or pork tenderloins. I think six bags of liver, the kidneys. We also kept the flare fat, which is gonna to go to make lard. We kept the skin that you seen off earlier. And then these are all just the packets of skin that I've done earlier. We also got off just the one half this much sausage meat, so you can times that again by another three and a bit because we got uh, more sausage off other stuff and then this will add to the mince that I've already got so to come back also in mince and sausage we reckon we're going to get 20 bags of mince back and maybe 50 packets of sausage because we want some sausage meat in packs as well so we might have 20 packs of sausage meat 50 packs of sausage the flavors of sausage we've gone for this year we've gone for a gourmet premium pork mix a hog roast sausage mix, a hickory honey mix, and a pork and red onion mix. We're also going to keep some sausage meat back because these are full of preservatives and nitrates and all sorts, which we don't really want, but we couldn't make enough mix up ourselves to do this much sausage. So we've got them four flavors and Tracy's gonna make up her own mix to do another batch of sausage in her own, in her own flavor. Also, the loins of pork that are going into bacon, we didn't buy, last week we bought last week, last year, we bought some bacon cure, which was already mixed and made up. But again, it's got nitrates in it. So this year, we're gonna make our own, and we're gonna try and cure it with that. It'll have no nitrates in, it'll just have whole food ingredients in. So we'll see how that goes. It's easier to make up that to do the bacon because there isn't as much as there is sausage. So we can't do everything at once. So like I say, this year, we're gonna go with mostly the bought in sausage mix but we're gonna do our own bacon mix and see how that goes. Right, so it's time to get all this bagged up, wrapped and into the freezer. This is it for this video, but by no means this is it for the pigs. We've still got all the lard to process, we've still got all the bones to turn into stock, we've still got all the sausages to make, and we've still got all the bacon to do. So we'll catch you in another video for that, but this is it for tonight. So thanks for watching, see you in the next one.